This is number six. We've got the integral of cosine of 5 thirds x times square root of sine of 5 thirds x dx. Now, in order to integrate this one, you could use integration by substitution if you want to. Um, you may find that easier in the long run. Um, so you would use u is equal to sine of 5 thirds x. Alternatively, you can do this by reversing the chain rule. Okay, so I'm going to do this by reversing the chain rule, but as I said, if you want to work through this substitution, u is equal to sine of 5 thirds x will be what you want to use. So we have the integral of cosine of 5 thirds x, and I'm going to rewrite this as sine of 5 thirds x to the half dx. Now you might be asking, right, how do I know that substitution is going to work here? Um, and that I could reverse the chain rule. Well, the reason is that inside the square root, we've got our interior function, sine of 5 thirds x, and I know that's going to differentiate to a multiple of what we've got on the outside. Because sine of 5 thirds x will differentiate to 5 thirds cosine of 5 thirds x. Okay? Now, we don't have 5 thirds of cosine of 5 thirds x, we've got 3 fifths of what we need. Okay, so um, that's something to kind of keep note of. Okay, so we're going to have to have 3 fifths. Okay, that's going to come through because remember that differentiates to 5 thirds cosine 5 thirds x and we've got 3 fifths of what we need. But at some point also, we're going to add 1 to the power here and divide by the new power. So at some point, I've got to divide by 3 halves, which is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And I've got to add 1 to the power. So 3 fifths times two-thirds will be two-fifths sine of five-thirds x to the three-halves plus c. Now, you'll probably want to double-check, okay, does that differentiate back? Well, the three-halves would come down to the front, and we take one off the power. So the two-fifths will multiply with three-halves, which will give me three-fifths. And then the derivative of the inside will come outside, which will bring 5 thirds out, which will multiply with the 3 fifths to make 1. And we'll have a cosine 5 thirds x out the front. So differentiating back using the chain rule should all work out. Again, you can do this one if you're a bit hesitant on it. Try it by substitution. Use u is equal to sine of 5 thirds x. So I will do that now just so that you can see how that works. So u is equal to sine of 5 thirds x. Differentiate the substitution. So we're going to have 5 thirds cosine of 5 thirds x. And then uh, rearrange to get dx. So dx will be equal to. So it's 1 over this times by du. So that will be 3 fifths. Uh, times by 1 over cosine of 5 thirds x du. So I'm doing 1 over all of that. Okay? I wouldn't bother writing it as sec. Okay? I'll just leave it like that. Because the whole idea now is that I'll get a cancellation. So we have the integral of, we've got the cosine of 5 thirds x. We've got times by the square root of u, which I'm going to write as u to the half. Okay, and the dx, I'm going to rewrite like this. So 3 fifths uh, times by 1 over cosine of 5 thirds x du. Now the cosine 5 thirds x cancel. We've got now the integral of 3 fifths u to the half du. So I want to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So 3 fifths 
times by two thirds, because dividing by three halves is the same as multiplying by two thirds, u to the three halves plus c. Three fifths times two thirds is two fifths. u was sine of five thirds x, so that's sine of five thirds x. That's to the three halves plus your constant c.